Have you done a sit down interview before? I have not. Why did you want to do one now? I think it's important to share with the 160,000 veterans that we care for in Atlanta and the 5,200 employees what my priorities are. When I sat down with Kai Menser, it was his first week on the job as director of the Atlanta VA healthcare system. You are inheriting a lot of problems. Wait times is something that we've covered extensively. In 2022, when we first did the investigation, people were waiting about 73 days on average. The way that we capture the wait times and publicly present that is a it's difficult to understand. So our veterans choose to come here. And if they choose to wait six months, that becomes part of the average. So it's not an indicator of when our next available appointment is. Thinking back as we've talked to some interviews, I've had one in particular with a veteran who was having some heart issues and she had to wait six months for an appointment. She had a heart attack in the meantime. I've had a heart attack. Oh, we're so sorry. Can I get an appointment? Mm, no, I'm more scared of dying because the system is failing me, having a heart attack, because I can't get adequate support. For those people who are saying, I'm living this, you know, I am having to wait this long, what would you tell those folks? First and foremost, I would tell that veteran sorry. No veteran should have to wait that long to get the care that they have earned and that they deserve. When I hear stories like that, you know, it makes me get emotional. It really, uh, hurts me at the core of who I am as a person because that's something that we did wrong. Atlanta's is the second largest VA in the country and one of the fastest growing. Menser says staffing that growing need is high priority, but so is finding solutions in the meantime. We grow so rapidly, it's difficult to bring those providers on so swiftly in addition to space. Last week I met with Emory, where we discussed the opportunities of maybe partnering with them on space usage. Menser says he's also addressing concerns from nurses, many of whom gathered outside the VA in March, protesting staffing shortages, poor security measures, and a lack of accountability. Today, we had a, a large number of nurses, uh, more than 20, come visit me in the office. I talked with them about their concerns, and before I left the room, they said thank you and one of them said we've never had a director do that before. They did bring up some pay concerns that they had from last year that I helped to address. Anything you want to say to address veterans who will be watching this? I want the veterans to know that um, it's a new day. It's a new time. I'm a transparent leader. Uh, I enjoy overly communicating and um, um, I'm glad to be here.